Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I haven't been making any videos for the past week or so because I've been gone. I've been out of town. I'll show you a couple of video clips here in a second of what I've been doing this week with my family. But when you come home from vacation, you have lots of mail. So I'm gonna go over some cards here in just a second. But first I wanna tell you about um, something that I'm doing this Sunday night at nine o'clock central, 10 o'clock Eastern, I'm gonna be doing a live show. And it's gonna be a weekly show that I've kind of dreamed up and I wanna um, give a shout out to John JMVP, Garrett Cardcutter, Ray from Philly, bunch of guys that have kind of helped me think through this on how to do kind of a regular show. Uh, the show's gonna be called Beyond Cardboard and it's gonna be a weekly show where I interview a fellow YouTuber and kind of talk to them about the hobby and their life beyond the hobby and just kind of have a lot of fun with it. It's going to be a 30 minute show. It's going to be live every Sunday night. So hope everybody can tune in and watch. But for now, here's a look at what I've been doing this last last week. And then I'll show you some cards. Yo and hello everybody. Mike here, baseball collector. And it is Monday morning. And today I am not going to be showing you any cards because I'm not even in Texas. I'm actually in San Lucas, Guatemala. I'm at an orphanage called Village of Hope, and I'm here with my family, my wife and two kids, and we are serving this week during spring break uh, a bunch of kids that uh, just need a lot of loving, and so that's why uh, we are here this week. And so I'm not gonna be, that's why you're not seeing any videos this week. I'm not even gonna post this until after I get back. I'm gonna do a couple of videos maybe where I just show a couple things this week of what we're doing and how we're helping down here and I'm gonna do videos when I get back but for now that's what's going on so we'll talk to you soon so here's part of what they're doing um, they're working on a home for adolescent mothers but down here is down there all that is uh, an area where we're staying and over here is a kind of a big old great room where we had meetings and stuff like that and uh, this is what we get to wake up to every day. Just beautiful weather here right now. And we're having a great time. Okay, so here we are at another area. This is the backside of that big team room. It's a bunch of houses up there where the kids live. They have a giant playground down here, a cool cement soccer field. And I'm gonna take you over here, do a little walking. You can just see how totally pretty it is here. <clears throat> and then over here, they just built and are still working on a school. So that's a school where the kids actually do school here. And the reason they do school here is because typically if they go to normal public school, they're gonna be bullied and ridiculed, um, mainly for being different. So on the second floor there is where we're working this week. We're doing a lot of sheetrocking and just putting up support beams and building desks and all sorts of cool stuff. So that's what we're working on. A lot of the construction and we're just spending time with the kids. So we're just having a great time. So there you go. There's another piece of this place that is just awesome. So there you go, everybody. That's kind of what I was doing this week with my family. Uh, my wife and I are very blessed and we love to give back and do things. Uh, we travel all over the world and just try to help as much as we can and serve the Lord and just really enjoy doing that. But now we're gonna talk about some baseball cards. So this is the first pickup that came in while I was gone. It's for my Immaculate Collection, Immaculate Marks autograph set. It's the red version of the Will Clark, Will the Thrill. He has such a pretty signature, nice blue ink on card autograph. And I think I'm down to just needing Don Mattingly now to have both the regular set and the red set. So. Excited to get that. Next up, I wanted to pick up a good rookie card of this guy. Um, this will be his last year, I think, in the majors, going back to the Mariners. And so I wanted to pick up a nice rookie card of his. So there it is, uh, Ichiro, a 2001 upper deck. Not his high-end rookie card for sure, but just one in a nice mint nine from 01. So let's pull that out. And I'm also gonna, since I'm going all slabs now, I'm gonna pull out the little stand because I don't need it. Because I can just stand the cards up right here and show them to you. So there, this is 
My next one is a 1979 Topps Mike Schmidt for all those Phillies folks out there. I have a couple of Schmidts to show, and I'm just trying to pick up nice, solid cards of Hall of Famers, uh, as much vintage as I can. I'm not trying to go crazy on grades, but trying to get nice examples. This is a good near mint to mint eight of Mike Schmidt. Continuing with my, got a bunch of Nolan Ryans because I'm just kind of looking for Nolan Ryan stuff. And this card is always, I've always liked it because it has Nolan Ryan as the season strikeout all-time record holder and Walter Johnson. So it's got as a career, eventually Nolan Ryan, of course, passed Walter Johnson as did several others. But this is just a great card to, to kind of take that snapshot in time before Nolan Ryan was the all-time career strikeout holder. This is in a near mint eight. Then we've got a record breaker. This is from 1977 tops. It's the Nolan Ryan record breaker where he has the most seasons with 300 or more strikeouts. Just a pretty example near mint seven. More than happy to get just kind of a collector grade in these cards. Not looking for eights or nines. They're just crazy expensive to go higher grade. So good example there. Oh look, another Nolan Ryan. Now this is my first cloth stickers card from 1977 Tops. It was kind of a extra deal that, that Tops did. Sometimes they're the same picture, sometimes they're different um, or slightly different, maybe a different cropping of the same picture that Tops did for 77 cloth stickers. And it's really cool because on the back there's not stats. I'll turn this around and show you. It's just got kind of little tidbits for the player. I love that it, the first one says Nolan Ryan tied the major league record by fanning the side on nine pitches twice in 68 and 72. So there you go. Another Nolan Ryan. Now we're going to have a couple of 1975 tops. This first one is a Mike Schmidt. Just a beautiful example. Um, love the just 1970s. He's got the feathered hair, the Phillies cap with the old school P on it, and just a nice grade near mint seven. A lot of these have the new holder too, which is really great. I just love the new holder. Um, here's Hall of Famer Rod Carew. And this is also a near mint seven for a 75 tops. The colors on 75 tops just pop. Um, you can see the bottom left corner there is a little dinged, which is probably what brought this card down to a seven. Next up is Mr. Dave Winfield wearing that old school Padres uniform and just crazy colors, purple and pink and <laughs> just crazy. Um, but this is a nice near mint seven of Dave Winfield. Next up is a 1974 Tops, which I think is easily the ugliest set in the 70s, is 74 Tops. Um, the pictures are just bleh to me. The, the design isn't that great to me. But uh, near mint seven for this Willie Stargell. Old Pops. Now I got three really nice cards that I'm really excited about. This first one is a 1959 Tops Bob Clemente, better known to most of us as Roberto Clemente. And this is just an excellent five, but man, if I can pick up any Clemente cards, you know, in a, in a reasonably good grade, I'm gonna try to do that because I just love Clemente and his career. And if you haven't seen it, um, Caitlin, A League of Their Own, did a great tribute to Roberto Clemente showing off her 1961 tops. She has it in a seven, which is a really great grade. So I was just really happy to get this in a five for a 59 tops. That's pretty good. The next card, it's going to be kind of weird because I'm going to show it like this, but this is a Pee Wee Reese from 1955 Bowman. I know there's a lot of people that hate 55 Bowman. I am not one of those. I think it's a unique design that just really is cool uh the tv frame what's weird is you can even see on this card it, it looks miscut because you can see at the top of the card um or the right of the card depending on what orientation you have it is the dark border versus the light border and i don't know how to, how bowman figured out i almost said tops how bowman figured out how to have the light border or the dark border maybe somebody knows that maybe dustin bellinger knows that of what determined which cards had which color border, but 
Um, this is actually my first light colored bordered card for 55 Bowman and just love it for Pee Wee Reese. This is just an excellent five, but really nice looking card. And my last card is a 1940 play ball. Again, I'm trying to get all the Hall of Famers for this set. And this is for Hugh Jennings. So another shout out to a league of their own. He's a old timer Detroit Tiger. And his name listed there is Hugh Ea Jennings. Um, don't know why he has that nickname. Pretty funny though. It's a three and a half, which is for these cards, pretty good for a 1940. I'm trying to get um, threes, fours, and fives for this set. I'm still a long way. I'm only about halfway done with this because there's a lot of Hall of Famers in 1940 play ball, but just beautiful cards. Uh, love the black and white picture and just screams old school. So that's my mail that had come in while I was away. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Again, Sunday night. Make sure you tune in, 9 o'clock Central, 10 o'clock Eastern, for my 30-minute premiere show of Beyond Court Cardboard. I'll have a special guest with me on that night, and we'll have a good time with it. Hope everybody enjoyed this, and thanks for uh, watching. Glad to be back, and we'll talk to you soon. Keep collecting.